Safeguarding means protecting children from abuse and maltreatment. It is everyone's responsibility to pass on any concerns. Make sure you understand your school's code of conduct and who the designated child co protection coordinator and the local authority designated officer is in your school. Everyone should have completed the prevent and safeguarding training, which is done online. You can redo the training at any time to update your skills. They can be found on the eBor website. The address is www.ebor.academy. It's everyone's responsibility to pass on concerns. Don't tell anyone your password and if you have to write it down, keep it somewhere safe. Make sure you log off whenever you leave your computer. These are memory sticks, but they shouldn't really be used in school. Instead, use Google Drive. They told me to say that memory sticks are becoming the same as fax machines and VHS tapes, but I didn't know what they were talking about. Everybody has a responsibility to keep data and information secure. You must not leave sensitive information lying around and you must not talk about it in public places where you might be overheard. You need to know and understand all the relevant policies. They all will be on the eBall website. I like the whistleblowing policy the best. <coughs> That's not what it means, silly. The health and safety at work Act 1974 is very important. It requires you to take reasonable care for the health and safety of yourself and other people at work. If you see any health and safety issues, you must report them. If you see it, you own it. If you see it, you own it. You shouldn't try to lift heavy objects. Ask for help from the site staff who are properly trained in lifting and handling. Training is available if needed. Everybody must take ownership of their own activities and areas and risk and Assessments should be part of that. Make yourself familiar with the risk assessments for the trust and for your areas of work. Adapt and review the risk assessments so they suit your way of working. Help us to provide from the school's own health and safety officers, officer who is trained in undertake and assessing, assessing risk and training can be proved for those who need it. Not all employees are trained in work in a high if and if you are not trained, you shall not climb on chairs, not climb on tables, or use ladders or la step ladders. If you feel you need to work at height, then training can be provided. There are trained staff on site who can help you. Please work your way through self-assessment VDU form to be sure your work area is set up correctly. These can be found on the eBall website. If you have any problems, please speak to your health and safety officer. In an emergency, you need to be aware of the school's evacuation pr procedures and make sure you know who the fire wardens are in your school. It is also very important that you sign in and sign out of school so that staff know who is the premises or not at all times. 
You should also know who the trained first aiders are and your school's first aid pr procedures. Procedures can be found in the staff handbook or at the office manager for more details. Try and avoid lawn working, but if you can't and you need to work late at school on your own, make sure you inform a colleague and let them know when you are leaving. Training can be provided the ones who... Really? Training can be provided if you want it? Training can be provided the ones... If you want it. If you want it. Don't do it. Only one girl. You're doing so well, Bailey, honestly. Oh. Training can be provided if you want it. Training can be provided if you want it. Yay! 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 Yay!